Ashley? Black at Sente. Good. Very important. What else is black at? Black at's one other really, really, really important thing that we already said. Black gets to threaten this whole ladder thing. Remember right now, white has the ladder. I said that was super, super important. Mm -hmm. You guys know how important that is? Black basically can get a free move whenever black wants. If black plays here, that breaks the ladder, right? White needs to do something, right? White needs to play something over here so this, these two stones don't get caught. Up. So black can get a free move anywhere over here. So guess what black does? Yeah, it plays very close to that area. Trying to stir up some trouble. And also at the same time, these two stones, right, we're trying to build some outside influence. So black's going to approach high. Uh, white's starting to get nervous. Wait, so It doesn't actually break the ladder. It doesn't actually break the ladder yet. So this is not a ladder breaker, but it's really close to being a ladder breaker. Right? So white. Well, he's going, oh, I can see where this is going to go. I'm going to get in some big fight over here. And then Black's going to play the move at the right time. It both you know, tries to trap me over here and breaks the ladder. And then I'm going to die over here. And, and if these two white stones get captured, and these stones that I said were dead are alive, all of these are dead, and all of these are dead. This is huge. Right, right, right now on the board, white captures eight black stones. If these two stones die, uh, black captures two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Black gets to capture eighteen stones. So we're talking, yeah, thirty-six for one one direction or eighteen points for the other. That's a difference of fifty-four points. This corner is over fifty-four points. Actually, more than that. We count the outside influence. Joseph. So it's worth fifty-four. Minimum, yeah, minimum 54. Why doesn't play anything there? Why, Why doesn't white play over here? Yeah. Well, right now, white is, white, is, white is getting nervous now. Mm -hmm. White's going, I like my 54 point corner. I don't want to have that swing to black. So white plays here. And this breaks the ladder effectively, right? Because if black were now to run this ladder out, play here. What happens when white goes here? Can black still run this as a ladder? Can black play here? No. No, right? This ladder is broken. So, white says, hey, all right, I don't care what you do over here. I just don't want this ladder thing to have to, I don't want this to matter down here. I want the ladder to be broken already down here. We're going to do that by cutting black. That's pretty efficient. So that's good, right? It's like the game's over now. Okay, this is this 54-point area settled. White white wins, right? Sure. Why not? But it's black's move again. So black is going to come over here. This is very severe. This is uh, normally when black approaches here, where it's white though. Something like this, or like this, right? And so one person gets one side, the other person gets the other side. But when black gets both sides, especially when they're both coming at high, this is very severe. This is white's going to get just punched around the board for a little while. And white knows this. White, white, this is, this is severe. Uh, when you see it come up in your games, if you're the white player, you will just have a hard time making any sort of live shape. A very hard time making eyes, have a hard time running. Very difficult. But white knows this. White says, okay, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, stop. I just want to be safe. Maybe make some shape in the corner. I might reserve the right to peek my head out later. Maybe I'll come over here and build something this way. Basically, this is white basically saying, don't hurt me. Have your outside influence. Let's play the rest of the game. You guys can see that? Yes. 
and white plays this thing. All right. Here we go. Black plays this thing. Well, we know the ladder. The ladder doesn't work because of this stuff. Right? There's no ladder here. So it has nothing to worry about. Our black's going to play here now. And now there's a ladder again. Right? White doesn't respond. Black will play here and run it into that stone that he's playing. But it's White's turn, so no worries, right? White has a turn to fix it. So White says, no! No ladder. I'm done with this. I just, let me out. I just want to get out of this whole possible ladder fiasco. And sure enough, Black says, okay, well, I just want your stone. Remember that stone you cut? I just want that stone. And so far, both players are kind of happy. Relatively happy. Let's say relatively. So right now, white has something in the corner. Black has some outside influence. Black has some more outside influence. Black's got a little bit of a base down here. White has 18 points or 16 points of captured stones in the corner. White's move. It's a game, right? So white finally decides. Remember that open corner? That's big. We should go play it. We'll take the open corner. This is normal, yes? Normal? And this stone has a lot of IG, has a lot of potential to cause problems over here, so Black just captures it immediately. Uh -huh. So it's very, we're getting very peaceful now, right? We start with this very aggressive, giant sacrifice, and then some very severe approaches in this corner, and now the game is getting very peaceful. Boring, right? So let's evaluate. What, is, what does White have? They have to understand. They have to understand that the I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna ask from the from the whole board perspective. Right. What does White have here? What's White's What's White's potential? What's White's points? White has a corner down here. White has a little bit of a corner over here. White's captured this. What does Black have for points? And pie. Black doesn't really have any real points yet. Right? All Black has is just influence. I mean, maybe Black has something in the corner here. We have a wall, so we have one captured stone. Maybe there's something here, but that's a big maybe. There's no points here yet. This is still wide open. It's just influence. So right now, Black is banking the whole game. On influence. Well, it's one of the influence here. There's white black's move, right? Uh, yeah. So if he just. If he, yeah. I mean, any time. Oh, no, no, sorry. Black just captured it. It's oh, white's move. Right. Well, yeah. white has to move. White has to move. White has to move. White has to move. Should. Yeah, white's, white's worried about this. White has a major difference. Is it white just. just white corner? corner? Captured. What? We, white played the corner, and then black captured. Oh. What's white's move? I think white should make it. I, should, I think he should not let Black play a squeeze on him. Yeah, see, we have, this, we have this group that doesn't have a lot of liberties, right? Yeah. We can't let this die, otherwise it's all no, these things. It's not that it's in danger of dying. It's just okay, well, you're in good company, Dan, because that's what happens. Oh, he did do it. Okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to get you guys to see, though, is that, you know, White has more points, but White has this liability right here. Right? This is a liability. If these stones get into trouble, Black can make all of this Black. This is a liability, right? White, white has to protect it. So White's going to play very defensive and just say, you know what, I'm done with this. I just want to play, go elsewhere on the board. I'm done with this. Don't come after me. I'm done. So, what can the problem with, I mean, suppose White doesn't do that and just launch. What happens? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a very yeah. simple way. But is, so then if Black does that, I mean, White can still capture the Black. So you can still black. capture? Uh, it's just that Black gets... But, but, yeah. black now, black. look at that. This look at that. Influence, and you can make the whole center. You can't win this game. So it's, 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 White's worried about getting harassed there and letting Black get a bunch of free moves in the middle. So good. So White plays here. And the other thing this, this move does is when White gets stronger here, 
It also puts a lot more pressure on these black stones, right? Because white can come down here maybe next to start attacking this. Black would not be very happy about that. So black attacks move. Let's deploy there. Try to make something of a base. And white does that. White wants more points, right? He points to win go, so white takes a corner. And here we are. White says, hey, I want some points. Defend this corner. You're still very peaceful, yes? So we haven't gotten to the part that's weird yet. That's white, yeah. Have we gotten to the part that's weird yet? No, this is, this is, this is normal. This is setting the stage. We're setting the stage, right? Because you guys remember this, how there was this ladder here? It's going to come back. Okay, it's all foreshadowing. So right now we're just taking points, yes? So white wants more points. It's white's move. So white goes over here and says, hey, I want some more points. I want to make my corner bigger. Yeah. yeah. And black goes and says, OK, you might want to go this way, but I'm thinking this way. So black peeps over here. Now what black is trying to do is actually just take something more in the middle and then worry about this area. Okay, so black is going to take this peak. White is too cool for school, does not want to defend against the peep. Said, so, okay, you really do want that? That's fine. I'm going to come over here and, and hurt this stuff. You get this very strange fight. Uh, black will cut. White will block. Black will cut and try to eat this stone. White doesn't want black to eat this stone. Alright. And then finally, Black responds to that initial attack. This looks like trash. These are all very odd kind of fighting moves. Players, you know, going back and forth between what they want, what they don't want. Right, not answering each other's peeps, just taking your own influence. Black is more interested in this. White is more interested in this. They kind of did that, but then they both changed their mind halfway through. And black comes over here. Weakness, right? White cuts. Black responds. Shouldn't have cut. Shouldn't cut. Let's you just grab that stone. But what, what, what? Black wants all this outside influence, right? Right. So, so if you I want just grab that stone, what? what I'm not worried. You're not worried. I'm not worried. I'm alive. You're happy in your corner. I got a cut. I got Ajay everywhere. Black's got this nice wall. Got this nice armor formation. It looks so bad. Can still harass this. Black has a lot of center. This looks okay. I got those points. All right. sixteen points. <laughs> and call me. Dan says uh, white's okay. All right. Sure. Maybe you're right. Because you, you know, if you're playing down there, I'm winning. <laughs> Are you gonna defend here next? Or? You're not gonna defend there, right? It's a long shot. Okay. All right. Well, the professional says no. It's not good enough. The professional is more worried about the middle. He's lost. You said he lost. <laughs> yes, sir. No, Professional says cut. Professional Exploit the weakness. Fight over every point. Okay. So Black is having trouble with this stone. Black needs to help it. Right? Otherwise, it gets captured. White has a defect. White needs a good move now. White fixes the defect. Yeah. That's the good move. Okay. And then Black ladders the stone. Right. Now, what's the problem with this ladder? Well, yeah, but all of the white. I'm saying all of the white. Here, let's follow the ladder, right? It goes white, 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 white. Hey, white, our friend. A white stone. So, does this ladder work for black? Yeah, not yet. Not yet. In other words, White doesn't have to worry about it yet. It's not a problem. Not a big deal, right? It's a ladder. And it clearly doesn't work for Black. If a ladder doesn't work for you, should you play it out? Sometimes. I'll say the general rule is no, right? Because what happens if, if, if White were to make this big line of stones here? You can play some of it if you've got a good enough ladder. Well, you can play some of it. 
you got a good enough lab break that you put them by some of it. Okay, well, 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 watch what happens. So White says, haha, you can't capture me. I'm going to run to my friend, and you can't capture me ever. This is what happens. And Black says, oh, yeah? <laughs> and White says, nah, uh And Black says, oh, yeah? And White says, nah, uh and At this point, Black does something different. You're still kind of surround me, aren't you? Black goes just... with White. Now this is the move where white has been tricked. At this point, white has basically lost the game. So there's still like 100 moves left. But why? So what, what, what is black saying over here? What is, what is the problem? Yeah, Ashley? Kind of like those Yeah, we, we, we took away one of the liberties, right? So this stone makes you mad, right? You're like, hey. I, li I like eating all this corner, right? That should be white corner. That shouldn't be black corner. And you might say, hey, Stone, I want to eat you. Right? That should be safe. This isn't the game, by the way. I'm just going to play this out to show you what we say all is thinking. So white plays here. So black plays here. Easy enough. White captures. Black Ataris. White safe, no problem, right? Three liberties, no problem, right? Well, let me play this out a little bit more. Let's play out a ladder. You guys have played out ladders before? This ladder work for white? Gonna run to a white stone and be fine, right? No. Why isn't this gonna be fine? Uh oh. Uh -huh. What happened? A white place here? They both die. That was wrong. That didn't work. So let's go back. So when we go back to this point, when black plays this move, it's pretty tricky. Right? Because if white tries to capture that stone, white gets captured. Right? White, white can lose everything. Is there an extra stone somewhere? Yeah, there's an extra black stone. Thank you. Uh, what? Right. Oh, there. Thank you. So at this point, white has to make a choice. White knows this ladder is going to be problems if white keeps running it. We know we can't capture this stone very easily. What do we do? We got to save these stones, right? We want our corner. We don't want the 54 point corner to be for black. White says, I'm running away. I'm done with this. And this ladder still should work for white. This ladder still works for white. So my phone's not working. I did something that I did not. So black's going to play out this ladder. And at this point, it's never it's really happened in the history of professional go. They play all the ladder all the way across the board. Doesn't work. This is the actual game now. Right? So white dodges this bullet. Right? White ran away. And now black is playing out this ladder. And white's going, why? It's fine. There's no problem here. I run to my own stone. I'm safe.
to bend the ladder. I bent the ladder, but I can't bend the ladder because I'm going to get a target. I find the, if I were to keep playing, it takes more sound to do it. If I go there, the ladder, the ladder still works your white. White is still safe. But what did black get? So black goes there, white goes there, there. It's black move. Okay. Gets the cornerback. Right. What did Black capture? Remember these stones that we were worried about the whole game because they were going to be trapped on a ladder? Um, Lee Sadal ran a ladder to them all the way across the board. Just so we could play one extra move. This is the move, right? The one extra move he needs to capture them right there. That one helps too. Capture those stones and take back the 50 point flash. Wow. That is amazing. You know, I don't think he's thought this up. I think he tried this at home first. I, I just, I'll bet you. I think he's just that strong. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to move. I don't think, for a professional, that's not that hard. No. It's not that hard. <laughs> No, he had to have the whole plan. He had the whole plan. It's obvious. I don't yeah. think he had the plan, Dan. He is a black He's that good. <laughs> but, um, like professionals can read. I understand it can read tremendously well. They can only read things that they. So, how did this happen? Because here, here's the thing the game isn't over yet. So, I mean, are you saying this is obviously good for black? No, I'm not saying it's obviously good for any 